you guys have wanted me to do something a little different so that's what we are going to be doing today it's going to be a mock draft full first round again i'm not an expert but if you think i got something wrong tell me about it i want to know are you trying to build the best team in Madden? we'll head on over to instantmuckcoins.com to avoid the packs save some racks link is in the description below use code cc now for 20 percent off Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We are here indeed doing a mock draft. We might do a couple of these. If you guys enjoy it, we'll obviously do some more. Uh, and for the website, we're doing this. Uh, shout out to, to Bangle. You guys know Bangle? As I noticed what he uses, and I was like, I'll use what he uses. Uh, if you guys want like real NFL stuff, like I, I enjoy watching it. <laughs> so uh, I know it's a smaller audience, but go check him out. Uh, lots of stuff on there. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Again, some mock draft. I'm not a professional. I don't get paid to do this, but we're going to try again. If you enjoy the content, let me know. Drop a like if you're new. You want to subscribe? Cool. We can do that. Uh, so here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going over the board here. Now, some of these are going to be fairly easy picks. We know that. I'm not going to be dealing with trades or anything like that because who? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, we're going to try to do the entire first round again. Some of these teams, I, I don't know necessarily as much about and what they really may need. So I might be throwing some darts on the board here, but let's get into it. Now the Jags obviously picking first. We all know this. Uh, we know what they need. We know who they're going to pick. And if they do not, it will be a total surprise here. Uh, you got to give them Trevor Lawrence, right? Hundred. It's a, That's a hundred percent. Now, the Jets are an interesting point. I think to me personally, I feel like a trade could be in the works for them, but we're not doing trades. Uh, and so then we have to sort of assume at this point that they're going to keep Darnold. Uh, I, that's what I assume they would do. Maybe they don't. Maybe they trade for a quarterback or they, they do something else or they trade him or they, I'm not sure if they feel like he's the guy, uh, but they definitely need a quarterback. They definitely need a quarterback, but they could also use pretty much everything else in the draft, except for left tackle, really. Becton is a monster. So you really could give them uh, anything, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume this is what they're going to do, and I assume they're going to take Zach Wilson here, okay? I don't want them to take Zach Wilson, <laughs> but I think that's what they're going to do. Now, the Dolphins coming up, obviously not going to assume quarterback here with Tua uh, at, the, at the helm. Uh, I feel like it's time for weapons for them. Uh, and that's why, to me, I'm going to give them Devontae Smith. I know some people were going to say Jamar Chase. I think Devontae maybe uh, just the, the whole play. He played the year. Chase sat out. We're going to go that. Uh, for the Falcons, my team, right? I don't know what I want them to do, truly. But I feel like they're at the point where they keep saying that they're that they're going to take the best available player, right? Now, Sewell was technically on this board the best <laughs> available player. I, I I don't see that happening. I don't. I really don't. I I, I see quarterback, uh, and I see Justin Fields here. Yeah. I don't think he's going to play initially if they do draft a quarterback, whoever it is, but it makes sense. Now, the Bengals need a little bit of everything. They need to protect Joe Burrow, most importantly. Like they really do. Short up their line is probably the smartest thing. That's what we're going to give them Sewell here. Uh, the Eagles <laughs> need weapons. <laughs> they need weapons really, really badly, so I'm going to give them uh, Jamar Chase here personally. I think that makes a lot of sense. The Lions, now that they have Goff and not Stafford, again, assume they're going to want to get him some weapons. Assume they're going to lose what Marvin Jones probably as well. So I'm going to give them Jalen Waddle here. So we're, we're, we're taking a lot of these skill positions off the board, all offense up to this point. Now, Carolina with Teddy B, you think they can go quarterback? Could, they really could here, and I think that's where they're going to end up going. Uh, they could obviously use some help on defense as well. But T T Teddy's obviously not the guy, so we'll give them Trey Lance here. Uh, the Broncos obviously need some help as well. 
They don't need a quarterback now, so they're not going to reach for that. Uh, so to me, it would be between Caleb Farley and Sertain. Again, to me, I, I, Caleb Farley was really good. You know, he, he just didn't play this year. Uh, and Sertain is, was really good as well. Uh, but I think I'm going to give them Caleb Farley here. Some people are going to have Sertain there. I get it. Uh, the Cowboys, again, assuming they're going to keep Dak, right? Uh, they, they need a lot of help elsewhere too. Uh, cornerback would be a nice place for them. Sertain could obviously end up in Dallas really easily here. Uh, but again, if, if you're going to get your quarterback here, you need to be able to protect them. Uh, I feel like they're, they're lacking a little bit there. So any of the offensive tackles would make sense for them or cornerback. So for me right here, I'm going to go. I, I, I don't know the difference between them. We'll give them Sam Cosme, right? Uh, the Giants, again, more need of playmakers. Truly, uh, they could use some more defense, too. Their defense was really good last year, actually. Uh, but I'm going to add to their defense, and I think that that's the way that they are going to keep building uh, building up more of a pass rush. We'll give them Quiddy Pay right there. San Francisco, again, always trying to build up, always drafting defensive players. It feels like we're going to give the Niners certain right here. Again, the Chargers could use a little bit of everything here as well. Again, you've got the quarterback. You got to protect him. We're going to give him Rashawn Slater right here. The Vikings again, need a little bit of everything here too. Uh, but I think for them where I would go is prob. I, I feel like I would go defense a little bit for him here uh, and get, get a, a, like a playmaker on the field because they've, they've got some really good pieces there. Right. And Eric Kendricks is a really good piece. Uh, at linebacker Harrison Smith and Anthony Harris, like they got some some great players out there, but from who's on the board, I know that like Kyle Pitts is still on the board here, and I just I could see that happening. I just I'm gonna give him Micah Parsons. Could told that's probably 100% wrong, uh, but that's okay. Now. <laughs> <laughs> When we're going here, we need a quarterback. The Patriots, I feel like they're, they they have to take a quarterback here, and we all feel like Mac Jones is going to go there. I, I, this is what it feels like. Now in Arizona, again, you got Cliff Kingsbury leading the march there. Based on our board, hey, right? this is based on our board. They could go with the running back for sure. But if Kyle Pitts is on the board here at 16, they're going to take Kyle Pitts, right? I would. Now we get to Oakland or Las Vegas. I guess, I guess Vegas now. Uh, again, they need defensive linemen here. Uh, so we'll give them Joseph Asai from Texas. The Dolphins coming back around. Uh, this feels like they're going to go with a real offensive draft. Their defense is really good. This is, their defense is good. Way better than you think it is. Uh, I think they're going to end up going Alabama again and give them Najee here. Now, the football team, not going to give them a quarterback, but we are going to give them a lineman here. Christian Derrissaw, they built their defense up a lot. Let's build that offensive line up a bit right here. Uh, Chicago, again, feels like they need a quarterback, right? But uh, that's it. we're starting to really 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 reach here uh and that's trouble but again they also sort of need playmakers but who's getting the, the ball Allen robinson doesn't get the ball do you need another guy not getting the ball no i think they're gonna have to make some moves in free agency for sure uh to shore up what they have here uh but we'll give them uh vera tucker here into your offensive lineman not the most fun pick but it is uh what it is uh we get to the colts here they got their quarterback now. They could use another weapon. Uh, I'm actually going to give them Terrace Marshall Jr. from LSU. Uh, we come back around to the Titans here again. Uh, it makes sense to me here. Gregory Russo. Uh, the Jets again. Right, the Jets coming up. Again, they still need players. They they, they need a lot. <laughs> they need a lot. 
Uh, I'm going to give him JC Horn out of South Carolina. Again, maybe who knows? Uh, Pittsburgh could always use a little bit of everything. Again, I don't really know the difference between Mayfield and Jenkins here at tackle, but I feel like their offensive line got a little weak. Um, and it has been. So we'll give him Jalen Mayfield. Sure. Why not? The Jags coming back around here again. They need a ton. You have to protect. <laughs> you got to protect your quarterback. If you're not going to protect your quarterback, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, they don't need a running back. Uh, they could use, uh, they could use a lot of stuff, honestly, here. Uh, but I feel like while they could protect the running back, they probably can pick up uh, another tackle. Like Leatherwood, you know, round two, right? Pretty simple. So I would here take the best available player uh, for them. And I don't really know who that is off the top of my head. I don't know. I, 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 we'll give him a Wusu, right? Uh, the Browns, the Browns, they need edge help. Really? I don't know. They don't really need much on offense. They got 17 tight ends. They got three, two running backs. <laughs> like their offense is fine. Uh, they could use a receiver. Sure. But again, I think just helping their defense out. Uh, so we're going to hop in and load up Jalen Phillips for them there. Uh, we get to the Ravens always drafting amazing. Zaven Collins. Yeah. Yeah. The Saints, again, uh, they're, they're, they're a team that drafts on best available. Just typically, recently at least as well. Uh, not necessarily by need. So I don't really look at the team needs for them so much. I feel like Michael Thomas might go away at some point for them too. I feel like they might try to get rid of him. Maybe they don't. But again, th they're going to pick the best available uh, here where they really could use. And uh, we'll go with Eichenberg. No, no, their line is fine. Their line is fine. We'll give them someone else on defense. Their defense is already really good. Uh, the pack... <laughs> <laughs> Packers. Remember all the Aaron Rodgers going to get traded discussion? That's crazy. We'll give them Eichenberg here. Uh, the Bills, again, could use a little bit of help everywhere. The Bills offensive line actually played pretty well last year, too. Um, but we're going to give them... Uh, I, I, I feel like they're a team who, who builds their defense really, really well. Uh, so, you, to me, it would be between Barmore, Samuel... And Aziz here. I'm going to give them Aziz. Give them a nice edge rusher. The Chiefs. We didn't know what happened to the Chiefs, right? We saw the Super Bowl. We were there. We saw it. Their offensive line is not as bad as it seems. At all. Uh, they, they were missing a bunch of people. Uh, I feel like their defense obviously needs some help. Uh, they've got Chris Jones. Cool. I feel like they could use just a little more help out there. So we're going to give him Asante Samuel Jr. And for Tampa, crazy enough, their team needs here are defense. Their defense was just lights out great. Uh, but they don't really need skill positions. They drafted. Uh, they're a really complete team. Uh, but I think you want to shore them up a little bit. Maybe you get a... Uh, if I were them. If I were them. You can't have too many linemen. Give me Barmore there. And that is going to be the draft. So again, I feel like I probably got quite a bit of that wrong and that's okay, right? I'm, I'm, this is my first time I've ever actually done a full mock draft. If you have your team, right? Your team that you know best, let me know down below who you think we should have, we should, we should have picked for them. Okay. Name off two. Two guys. These are the two guys I want on my team. I think they would be impact players. And we'll do it again. Or I'll take you guys' opinions in this time and we'll work through it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this again. Uh don't 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 roast me too hard. But uh, I've enjoyed I enjoyed this. Football is 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 my love for sports, so maybe we can keep doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.